What's up, good people of the world? Hey, if you haven't been here before, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Always remember, uh, hit the like button, hit the share button, and hey, if you like what I'm saying, subscribe. Now, let's get rid of the wrong. Good news, you got up, you looked out the window, and you saw something good in the world. That's always good news. Today, in our country, we can still walk down the streets, most streets, and be greeted by a perfect stranger. A little simple hello, tip of the hat, flip of the chin, a wave of the hand, or just a smile. And by the way, did you know that in some countries, a smile can be taken as a sign of aggression? Interesting fun fact. The differences we share within our country, the states, counties, cities, towns, in our own neighborhoods, even in our own homes, help us to understand that other people matter. Some of the good news is that because we know that other people matter, we care about someone other than ourselves. If you have a, a brother, a sister, mother, father, friend, neighbor, relative, it doesn't matter. It is even possible to care about a perfect stranger, someone that you have no physical or emotional bond with. It is possible to care about the greatest of greats and the smallest of smalls in someone else, even yourself. What that means is who you are, who they are, makes a difference. Because everybody, regardless of who they are, wants someone to care about them or care for them. Because knowing someone cares about you is one more breath, it's one more step, it's one more lap, it's just one more of whatever you need to keep you moving. Because for some of us, that one more makes all the difference in the world. And at some point, we take it for granted that we will always have that one more. Not everybody has that one more. Not everybody knows or feels that someone cares about them. But I'm here to tell you, somebody cares. The things you need, one of the things you need to keep you moving is that I care. Because as much as we hate to admit it, sometimes, most of the time, We need each other all the time in some capacity. We need to feel needed. We need to feel loved and loved. We need to show and feel togetherness because by nature, we are a gregarious animal. We need to be around people. We need to be with people. We need to communicate with people. We need to, we need to have that kind of 
that touchy feely feeling that so many of so many of us deny that we don't need. I don't care who you are, where you are, what you are. You need to be around people. And you cannot deny that. That's why the pandemic has been so hard on a lot of us. We're realizing that, man, I really miss being around this person, whether they're annoying or not. Um, oh, I miss this person. They usually brighten my day. Or, hmm, really miss this person's happy demeanor. What are they on? You know, whatever. However you look at it. We need to be around people. We need to be with people. That is just, that is just our DNA. That is just who we are. Now, please don't get me wrong. All of the people who have lost loved ones, friends, family, it's been a billion times harder and my heart goes out to each and every one of you. But because I have compassion for my fellow man, and don't get that twisted, just because you have to get down on one knee to help someone out doesn't mean you have to stay there. And it doesn't mean you're weak. It means you care. It means you are good with you at that moment that you have taken care of you in that moment and you can take care of someone else. Also, don't assume that the person that is down is the one that needs help. What I'm saying is know your limits. Know who the helper is and who the helpy is. Because all sometimes the person that's down is not the one that needs help. It's the person that's standing and they don't know they need help. It's kind of a, I, I guess it would be sort of a conundrum um, in a sense. Um, analogy if someone falls in the river and they can't swim and they're drowning do you jump in the river because you can't swim either do you jump in the river to save them and figure it out before the both of you drown or do you formulate a better plan of helping the person that's drowning to know what they need and what you need to be successful, to be a whole person at the end of this endeavor. See, because sometimes when you go and you want to help, you end up sinking yourself and the person you're trying to help. So know your limits. Know what you can do and what you cannot do. And I'm here to tell you, you cannot help anyone unless you have first helped yourself. The good news, we figured it out. And that's what the headline should read in the newspaper, uh, in your local news, if you still get a local newspaper, which many of you don't. Uh, it should read on your favorite webpage or your blog. Uh, however you get your news. The truth is we've always known the way. We've always had the answer. Now, if that isn't good news, I don't know what it is. What are you talking about? Well, I'll tell you what I'm talking about. You don't need to go out and find someone to care for or show love to. 
You don't need to go find someone to show how much compassion you have. You don't need to call a friend or family member and tell them how much you are dying to see them. The good news is, if you look in a mirror and love that person first, be compassionate towards that person first, take care of that person's needs first, Tell them how much you miss them. See, because sometimes we are so busy looking for something or someone or anything else, we often lose ourselves. And we don't even know it. There's a song by Avicii. He says, I was so busy finding myself that I didn't know I was lost. Mm, So figure that one out. See, you can't care about anybody until you care about yourself. You can't love anybody until you love yourself. So, here we go. Who's shaking the jar? Who stands to benefit from you caring about yourself? Who stands to gain from your kindness? Who benefits from you getting all of those things you need to be a whole person? And the answer is good news. Everyone that you touch that you come in contact with throughout your life. That's who. That's the real good news. Learn to love yourself first. And loving and caring for others will be easier. You can be stronger as an individual if you just care for yourself and make that a pandemic. I'm gonna tell you two secrets. First secret is, I'm not saying I'm Batman, but I'm just saying, never seen me and Batman in the same room. And the other secret is, I love me some me. So caring for others, sometimes comes easy. So, go find yourself. 